He he literally gave me the code, dude. No way. Found the horse. It's actually huge. Very good. I decided to build my base in the deep snow, cleverly exploiting the nearby mining outpost to its fullest before the big groups start to show up. Okay, we have a base. I swear that I saw like one more, what? Okay, I'm seeing a lot of um, one by ones. Like I'm seeing one there. There's no door in this one. I grabbed my bow and some arrows and went outside to try to prevent players from building around me. But it's easier said than done. I respawned near the fight and quickly headed back. If those two guys have respawned nearby too, it's going to be tough for me. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting a bit loaded, by the way, so, oh my god, okay. Yeah, there's already like 20 people there. Yeah, that's a four-man team. I would love to fight them, but they're kind of running away. <laughs> it's actually dead, dude. <laughs> Yeah, 
Okay, lovely. We are not that far from a... I, I, actually, I think we can make a furnace. And... Uh, okay, let's go and farm some metal. Seeing these groups building around my area, the least I can do is to make a furnace. And of course, place a metal door before it's too late. Placing bugs all over the map is crucial, especially on such a competitive server. My mining outpost neighbors were progressing rapidly, with a group of 10 or more. So I attempted to slow them down, but one of them eventually caught me. Thanks to Rust Magic for sponsoring today's video. This is for my 18 plus viewers. Rust Magic is a brand new site with up to 6 different games, including Case Battles, Upgrader with 2 Spinners, Roulette, Minesweeper, and a super unique game called Flipper, where you can change the amount of coins to flip for different win prizes. And when you win, you can deposit with skins, PayPal, or crypto. When you turn, they have a huge selection of skins to withdraw from. They also have a range system that gives out free coins. And of course they have daily cases. You can use my code truthfully for a free 50 cents to try out the site. Thank you Rust Magic for sponsoring today's video. Yeah, I live next to a clan, dude. I can't make a play because there's like 20 of them. It is. Okay, lovely. Um, let's do that, that. Whenever I approach the mining outpost, my neighbors kept killing me, making it difficult to gather resources, especially metal. Now I need to find a different route to progress. If you do enjoy the video at any point, don't forget to like the video and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys. This clan's dude, I'm telling you. As night fell, I hurried to bring some metal back to my base for smelting. 
I need to upgrade my base as soon as possible. Uh, it's actually nice. a break for five minutes and when I came back my neighbors were up to something. They were trying to sword raid my wooden door. I placed a garage door and they continued breaking my door so I had to upgrade my core before it's too late. It's all greens man. Yeah yeah so the walls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, these guys are so cringe. I think they have the boom, by the way. I was getting camped for 20 minutes straight and when they finally gave up I made sure to upgrade my base as much as I could. They literally tried to raid me with with swords dude. Like No, 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 no. Please tell me that they're gonna get raided. Oh my god. I swear to god, if this guy gets raided, I think I'm gonna like do a party, dude. The raiders won the raid. That was awesome. Now, what could possibly go wrong? Anyways, let's farm some more resources now. I stole so much from them, it's disgusting, dude. <laughs> I need to stop the mining outpost group from rebuilding after they got raided, before it's too late. I literally have to take everything from them, dude. Armed with a double barrel, I'm camping their core to prevent the progress. Let's see if I can achieve my goal. Yeah, guys, I know that I'm being so annoying, but I don't know, I think I have no choice here because if they rebuild, I'm so raided. Like, that's the only thing that I can do. 
to prevent this guys to build here again because yeah <laughs> i don't know They got guns and gear before I could even slow them down, making me their prime target. Now it's time to upgrade my starter. A new group moved into my area, which is good because they will keep the mining outpost neighbors occupied, hopefully delaying my inevitable wipeout. I decided it was time to start the construction of my main base. This is actually my very own design, maybe I will make a base design on it in the future, but for now let's build this mighty fortress. While they're camping a nearby base, <coughs> I heard rockets coming from the direction of the neighboring mining outpost, which was great news because if they raid that base, I can finally progress like everyone else. I woke up the next day and the mining outpost group finally quit. I was actually surprised, but this guy is causing the main problem right now. I will explain later. Now let's do a quick suck flame ray. Yeah, that was a nice raid. This is from the mining outpost, by the way. Just like some clothing scrap. But yeah, it was a nice raid. Yeah, nice, we got some guns, I mean, that's a still gun, but still, that was good. <laughs> Yeah, this player is probably new, by the way. I 
I found a group space near the loan site, climbed up and waited for the owner to open the door, hoping to go deep, but things didn't go as planned. My plan was to wait for about an hour and then accept the team invite. I will tell you more later about how I want to execute this plan, but for now the Ice Lake neighbors were outside farming. Okay. I might be dead now. Okay, I guess three star. After an hour I made my move, my plan was straightforward. Accept the team invite, log out, change my name to Matsu one of his teammates, and of course remember, if I quit and change my name without accepting the team invite first, it will disappear. Okay, that's a bit risky since I don't think they speak English. <laughs> oh no. I used Google Translate since I don't speak Russian. Then he started asking if I can tell the other guys to hop on the server. After that I asked him with Google Translate, what's the code because I forgot. And then he replied with this. <gasps> he, he literally gave me the code dude. He literally... No way. No way. No way! What the fuck, dude? Guys, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking! I'm shaking, I'm actually shaking. The guy that gave me the code he was doing the launch side puzzle. If I wanted to take over the base and change the code from every single door, I have to be quick because one mistake and I lose everything.
I don't know where's the to see, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um. Installed the codes to secure the base, but there was a problem. He returned, and it turns out I hadn't actually changed every single one. He actually opened the door. I feel bad, dude. Guys, I feel bad. Okay, this guy's camping. Oh my god, dude. Bro, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? I, yeah, um... Um... <laughs> dude, I don't know. I feel so bad. Wait. The door that... Wait. Where's the door that he opened? I think... It's probably this one. I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, you know, game is a game. <laughs> oh, the company is coming. But this guy started getting on. I had to take them out and, of course, take control of the external PCs. These guys are like, what the fuck? <laughs> Here, more loot here. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. <laughs> These guys are so like, what? I have no clue what the fuck just happened. These guys are so confused. Wipe the Zerg, it's so funny. I mean, it's not funny because, uh, yeah, I don't know, but I was surrounded by enemy clans. While being away from my base for so long, I decided to start upgrading my main base. talked about a problem before? Yeah, that's the problem. A 12-man team living literally one grid away from me. Okay, let's start the footprint of the base.
Okay, lovely. I upgrade the base. For some reason, I paused the recording. <laughs> Don't ask me why, I don't know. But this base actually is so good, dude. You're gonna love it. I'm just saying. And someone was interested in my base pretty quickly. Bruh. Crafted 2C4 and went to raid a nearby 2x1. Hopefully this is not them, but I can't tell. I mean, this is not worth, but <laughs> I don't know. I also met two guys and they invited me in their team. Turns out they are my neighbors. There you go.
I moved the loot from the clan I ghosted before and I stored it in the base I raided. With a new nearby clan and a tip off about them cheating from alone in Tokyo, I decided to stash the majority of my loot before going to bed. Okay, now let's build that. We're gonna uh, use the vending machine, and the TC is gonna be here by the way. So. Okay, now let's make the roof pretty much. I wanted to fully finish my best day before logging off. I also added a couple of turrets inside the open core for better protection. Open core. So we have two turrets, one watching there. So if someone blows through that and he wants to ladder up, he can. And this turret is watching this side. And we have this turret crossing the open core. Okay, let me show you the second one. There you go. Up there. So if they blow this, uh, the turrets are gonna shoot them. So yeah, for now, this is good. Uh, I have to add like more in the roof, but we're kinda chilling now. Guys, I just woke up and I've been offline. The next morning I woke up to a surprise, I was raided by the cheating group, but I had already hidden most of my valuable loot, and by the way alone Tokyo dealt with them, so now they off the server for good. So, holy shit, they actually broke a lot. By the way, I transferred all my sulfur in the externals, so yeah. Oh, shit. I've noticed that my starter base got raided as well, but something strange is happening here. There is a brand new base next to it with one guy online. I think that must have been the raid base and one of them is still playing on the server, regardless of them being fully wiped out by a lone Tokyo. So let's go and try to online raid this guy and hopefully get some loot back.
The majority of the loot that was inside this base was my loot, and specifically from my starter base. It was super strange since I saw this guy roaming my area not so long ago, and now he's a ghost. I was relieved when the group on the hill got raided overnight, because I was a little afraid of them. Okay, pretty much, I made two decoy uh, TCs, externals, and now I'm ready to place some holds, and yeah, let's hope for the best, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I have to warm up, okay? Hey, yeah, lovely. This guy was loaded, by the way, so... I stumbled upon a 2x1 near my base, occupied by a group of 4. I crafted 2c4 to online raid these guys only to find they had upgraded their base with metal honeycomb. Undeterred I crafted more boom and returned, unaware of the chaos that awaited me. Okay. Rah. 
unless they are like outside farming, you know. But this thing with the Ligar, no, I'd say. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Like, the fact that this guy wasn't, like, home... It's actually so sad, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I feel so bad. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh my god! Yeah, this is them, dude. They were doing like a tunnel run. actually dead dude Dude, <laughs> no way. Whenever I approach those players, they consistently use rockets to kill me, causing me to die repeatedly. Terminated to fight back, I quickly ask Alone Tokyo for assistance, and he arrived within two minutes. So funny, dude. Okay, let's see what the fuck we can do now, okay. Alone Tokyo came back with rockets. It's time to get back this base. They bats this thing, dude. No way. They respawned and came back to flank us. We have to kill them. Control of the raid. At least that was what we thought.
Oh dude, what the fuck is going on? We both died and they also broke our turret. It's now or never. Tokyo came back with a minicopter and I waited for him to bet the guy in the roof. I mean, we won. This is actually insane. <laughs> and then I flew back to my base, and of course, I gave some sulfur to Tokyo because he used a lot of explosives.